Dragon Ball Fusion World has four brand new leaders making their debut on the set to release of Blazing Aura, and today we're taking a look at those four leaders, explaining the abilities on all leaders as well as a bit of deck building discussion for those leaders. Now, we don't have every single card set to release, but we do have a few to cook up some neat ideas with. So let's start things off with the leader I'm pretty excited about, and that's the three subclass red leader Son Goku, or Topku, which is how we'll refer to him from now on. Since this leader is also introducing a brand new subclass, the Tournament of Power or Top for short. The front side of this leader is a standard 15k power that draws when attacking, however a major change we're seeing is upon awakening. Instead of awakening at 4 life, you can only awaken at 3 life, which makes me wonder how great can this leader actually be. Well, Let's take a look at the awaken side, and it's still a draw leader with 20k power, but it also has an activate main ability that you can use once per turn for the cost of 1 energy. By using this ability, you'll have to discard one card from your hand, but then you'll be able to play one battle card with 20k battle power or less and the top special trait from your hand. Now alone, this doesn't look really that great for a leader, until you realize that red is pretty aggro and some of the new cards in set 2 synergize with this leader a little too well. For example, we have the 4 cost Kefla, who is, oh look at that, a 20k battle power with top as a special trait. So you could use your top coup leader ability to play this card from your hand for only one energy and one card from your hand. Now the value you get from this is with Kefla's on play ability, that lets you draw one card and play a battle card with a cost of three or less and top in its traits from your hand. So now we can play cards like Android 17 who can't be KO'd by skills from your opponent's battle cards. Or how about Sun Gohan the adult who easily becomes a Broly threat. Or how about my personal favorite, the 3 cost Tian Shinhan that can then allow you to play up to 3 other Tian Shinhan cards with 15k or less from your hand. Either the blockers or the 15k battle cards themselves. Which means you can swarm your entire field and get anywhere from 2 to 5 battle cards all for the low cost of 1 energy and one card from your hand. Now that's free real estate, baby. No, but seriously, this card definitely has potential, and I am very excited to see what you guys are cooking up with this next set. Now let's check out my main and my favorite from this new set, and that's the Yellow Vegeta Leader. A standard draw leader with 15k power that awakens up for life, so pretty respectable. But now when you awaken, you get an insane end of turn ability, kinda like Frieza's, which makes me think this Vegeta Leader, if anything, will definitely be a consistently winning leader. Now with the end of turn ability, you're allowed to switch up the two rest mode energies to active, which means you can really take advantage of extra cards, things like death ball, bonds of ginyu force, or even body change, which could help you switch a rest mode battle card to active at the cost of another active card. Now this could be good to reactivate blockers, but the beast of a card that I have my eyes on is the two cost blue power awakening, which does two things. But if you're using it defensively in battle, you can use that newly activated two energy to boost your leader or a battle card by 25k, which is honestly kind of nuts. All in all, I hope yellow gets some more activate battle extra cards so our boy vegeta can get to cooking next up is the very much anticipated green leader cell whose front side is nothing crazy standard leader yada yada then when you awaken it's a 20k power draw leader that has the activate main ability once per turn that says if you have five energy hey yeah go ahead and add up to one card with a cost of three or more from your drop tier energy so ramping has never been easier with this son of a bitch. like i honestly wouldn't be surprised to see three Broly and two double androids by turn six. Like, it's literally insane. This ability is definitely helping keep green on top. But it's not even that, you guys. Green is getting a ridiculous amount of godly cards. Like, look at this crap. Future Trunks, that adds to the ramp. Or how about the five cost Future Gohan that synergizes so well with that future trunks. I'm telling you, turn 6, 12 energy for green? No joke. Oh, and they got a brand new double striker that also, wait for it, has 10k combo. Like, who's in charge of green? I, I just want to talk to them. I just want to talk to them. I just want to talk to them. Although it does have a prerequisite before becoming a double striker, but still, like, what the heck? And then when you thought it was all over, we've got ourselves a brand new big bad sheriff in town. Move over, Broly. 8 cost cell is coming in hot with the unplay ability of placing 3 cards from your energy into your drop to just KO 2 of your opponent's battle cards. It doesn't matter who they are. Yeah, just get them right off the board. And on top of that, go ahead and add the top card of your deck to your life. Yeah. 
Not gonna lie, definitely not looking forward to seeing green on the ladder anytime soon. But now let's talk about the elephant in the room. The new 25k liter elephant that is. And this time Broly, you definitely need to take a step aside. Introducing Zamasu Fused, a 15k draw leader that awakens at 3 life, which kind of makes sense. It then has the super unique ability to add your top card from your deck to your life at the cost of 1 energy and 1 card from your hand. Now usually I'd say this is kind of dumb, but having that buffer room of 25k battle power means your opponent is probably going to be wasting a ton of cards from hand just to defend from you and just to even attack you. But on top of that, blue has some pretty good synergy cards like Zeno's board wipe or how about the four drop Yuzumasu that draws whenever attacking and essentially brings itself back from the dead when KO'd at least once per turn. Or how about the new secret rare Vegito that bounces an opposing five cost and is also essentially kind of a double striker if you think about its ability. All in all, I'm super excited for all these new leaders and all the new cards coming with them and make their way to both physical and digital next month and i would love to hear from you guys which leaders are you going to main and which cards you're most looking forward to thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh yeah subscribe <laughs>